guys, welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. We're gonna be doing a chalkboard today with this mirror. Hopefully you can see it all. And it doesn't blind you. But uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. You can see my firewood behind you. <laughs> Um, anyway, yeah, so um, I'm going to be making a primitive um, chalkboard with this. So first I need to get the mirror out, and I'm going to use the mirror as my chalkboard. I have some chalkboard paint. It's just Rust-Oleum spray. So uh, I'm going to be using that and spraying it on my mirror once I clean it, because right now it's very dusty. I've had this thing for quite a while um I don't know where I got it I think I got it at Goodwill um I don't really remember but I think I did but the sticker isn't on there anymore that I can that I can tell so I would say uh the sticker came off at some point but I've had it kicking around it's very dusty dirty so I need to clean it up I need to get the the little pins out of the back that are holding everything in which are really easy to take out and I'll save them and put them back in when I'm done. I'm gonna replace the picture with, I haven't decided, but I think I'm gonna replace the picture with, it, with this. It's more primitive. Uh, it's a wallpaper border. I use wallpaper border a lot. I get it off from uh, discountwallpaper.com, I believe it is. I'll put it down in the, in the uh, description down below. And I also get, sometimes I get it off from Amazon. It all depends on the price. I don't like to pay a lot, but a, a roll of wallpaper will go a long way for projects. Um, and I've used wallpaper for years and I just love uh, borders for years. And I just love using them. But this I thought I, you know, I wanted to do the, when I saw it, I said, this is definitely the um, uh, chalkboard sign type so that's what i want to do so i'm going to take these little pins out they're falling out on their own and save them off to the side and i'll use them to put everything back in but anyway let's get started see what we can do with it <laughs> paint. This is Glidden High Endurance Interior Paint. I'm going to be using the Burgundy. I don't have a lot in there and it's been sitting in the basement so it's a little bit, a little bit thick. Really probably should add some water to it. Take it up where it's a little warmer. It's warmer down here now but it has been sitting in the cold. So we'll let's see what happens. It's gonna take a, probably a couple coats to cover up this blue. I did not do any um, sanding or anything to this. And then it's got this dental work. I don't know if you can see, hopefully you can. It's got this dental work in here, so I've gotta get it in all oh, those cracks and crevices, which it's working pretty good. No special brush. This is just our chip brush from, uh, I don't know, probably Walmart. Who knows? I'd say probably Walmart. Just something cheap. I'm not very good with my brushes as far as, I rinse them off usually, but I stick them in a, a mason jar or a jar of water after I rinse them and I just let them sit and I really shouldn't. They really shouldn't sit in the water. 
That's what I do. Terrible. So, I mean, this is covering pretty good. Not too bad. So while that's drying, I'm going to take a little bit of the burgundy paint and put it on this um, picture around the edges of the bottom because my border doesn't quite, isn't quite tall enough to reach the whole thing. So I'm going to have to center it. So the top and the bottom are going to be showing a little bit and this has got some like some yellowing on it it's kind of gross most of it will be covered up just want to get this bottom part so if anything is showing on the top and the bottom it will be burgundy right here says antiques and then it's got the candle and the cool stackable boxes so I'm just taking my Mod Podge. I could, where it's a uh, wallpaper, I could wet it, but I'm downstairs in the workshop and I don't really wanna go upstairs to wet it. So we're gonna use Mod Podge. I'm gonna have to go over the top of it anyway, cause this did not come with glass to cover it. So I'm gonna go over the top of it with Mod Podge. So, uh, it would make it easier to clean. It'll have a nice uh, coating over it. And I want to get it gonna run a bead of glue over the back probably getting paint on it three coats on the mirror so now it's looking more like a chalkboard um, I will do a thin coat over the top lay it flat and that way you don't get any runs or clumps or anything like that thin coat let it dry do a second coat thin coat let it dry it's a lot better than doing the heavy thick coat all at once for one thing it takes a long time to dry it doesn't dry very nicely and sometimes you get the the clumps and the runs and all that kind of thing in there and I wanted mine to be nice and smooth so that's just about dry I can see it's still a little bit wet here and there but I'll hit it with the heat gun I will hit the wallpaper thing with the heat gun and then I'll show you how I'm going to distress the um the wooden frame for all this stuff um, because there's a blue underneath I don't want to sand it back because I don't want that blue to come through with the burgundy I think it would look horrible so um, I'm going to try a little bit of a different technique that I've used before and I'll show you that in a second all right I'm going to show you what I'm going to do um, up close but I want to show you first what I'm what I've got going on so I've got my rust-oleum flat black spray paint 
And I've got an old, I mean, this chip brush has been with me for a really long time. It's stiff. It's uh, got black spray paint on it because I use it uh, all the time for distressing. So that's what I'm going to be doing with this. So what I do, hopefully you guys can see, is I take my brush and I just spray, kind of spray the tips of it. And I get a rag, put it here, and I kind of brush it off. Now spray paint um, uh, dries fast. So you're gonna start out with very little and just go along the edges. And you're not gonna see a huge, huge difference, but you will. Um, you will, when I bring you up close, you'll see that it's got black in it um, along the edges. So I just do the tips, brush it off, and then I just keep going along like so. And then I even do the top. And this is how I'm gonna distress. Because I didn't do a black um, coat underneath to cover up that blue. And even if I had, when I, when I sanded it, it probably would have gone down to the blue. And I do not want that to come through at all um, with this burgundy. So, Rust-Oleum clear matte paint. Hopefully you can see the lighting is not the best. Just gonna give her a light coat. All right, so I'm going to start putting the stuff in. This is my picture. I'm gonna start putting it in here. And don't worry about the color on the back. I'm going to, once I get everything in, I'm gonna spray it and um, get it all without that blue, because I don't like it. So I'm gonna take my little pins. Let's see. I don't think I can see. I'm just gonna stick them in wherever, hopefully. Wiggle it back and forth. Put that one in. All right. The moment of truth. <laughs> 